Lush got fired from the flipping No Jumper. And there's a video about it right now. I know No Jumper like to claim stuff all the time, so I don't care if they claim it or whatever. But I need to see this on stream because I didn't know this happened. This happened three hours ago, maybe before, on the live show. So let's see what happened. Oh, my God. This is crazy. Why did he get fired? Why did he get... Okay, cool. I want to see the freestyle and also want to see that. So let's let's play both things because I want to see why he got fired. This is absolutely hilarious. Lush has been on the on the L streak for a longest time. He came in really hot. Everyone really liked him. But really soon, you realize how much of a cornball he was and how cringer he was. And unfortunately, being that much of an adult, what is he in his 40s plus and, you know, having these weird insecurities and trying to act a certain way when you're clearly not about that life getting marked out by flipping flocko of all people and now this is horrible but for the longest time him and adam have had a really 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 weird fractious relationship anyway him and adam they've been going on something's happened weird between them i don't know why but um it's always been the case what's it yeah Uche, yeah true true Uche, someone does get fired to be fair not no not get fired there's always beef there's always drama and no jumper no jumper's turned into like his own reality tv show because i like to watch um I like to watch, ironically, uh, I like to watch my kind of secret watch that I love to watch. No, so what's what it say? What, what's that saying going? Not secret. What is it? What is it? My, um, my guilty pleasure is Bad Boys of LA. Have you guys watched that? It's a horrible show, right? Horrible show where, you know, majority of the guys in the house are gay, but there's some straight dudes in it. And essentially it's like Bad Girls Club, but it's Bad Boys, right? And they essentially <laughs> have to do this, like, you know, stuff like go to shows and do walkthroughs and stuff and it's really about drama people fighting one of the things why that show kind of isn't the greatest is because there's not a lot of challenges there's not a lot of things of like you know there's not a lot of stakes in the show it's just them fighting loads of egos and it gets boring really quickly because it's just always aggression and i feel like the same thing happens with no jumper where there's never peace there's never time to kind of enjoy the content and kind of contribute to the conversation. There's this sort of freestyle thing happening that went really well and that kind of died out really quickly. It's all just drama and beef and beef and beef and beef and beef. So, yeah. Is it okay? Cool. Yeah, Uche knows. Yeah, my get because of love after lockup. Yeah, you know, man. There's these things that we watch, like you know, and I like to I like to think of myself as an intellectual, right? As a deep thinker. But sometimes I just need my brain to turn off. I don't want to. I don't want to read a subtitle. I don't want to think about world, you know, flipping issues and politics and economics and whatnot. I just want to turn my brain off and watch absolute degenerates embarrass themselves on TV for my entertainment. And you know. Honestly, Love Out the Lockup is a good one. My one, uh, Bad Boys of LA is a good one. Bad Girls Club in general. Blue Faces thing on OnlyFans is, uh, allegedly is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, let's do the thing. Let's, let's, I want to see the freestyle first. Let's see the freestyle. Y'all make sure y'all keep sending those beats to beats at no. Let's see, let's see Lush's freestyle. By the way, just to preface this, Lush fucking sucks at rapping. He used to be good before when he was on the cocaine bot stuff, but now that he's sober and he's a bit older, he's lost that bit of timing and he just sounds dated as hell. But back in the day, he was pretty nice when he was on the cocaine bot and he looked like he'd been strung out for, you know, a million years back to back to back to back. But now he needs to give it up, hang up the mic, continue podding and leave this alone for the kids. But, you know, as people are in the industry and scene, I've known people in my street, we're seeing my fashion scene, we don't let it go. They're out there fighting for Jordans. They're out there wearing Supreme and they're flipping 50 years old. It's just horrible. This is the same. Let's check this freestyle out. I bet it's horrible. Ojumper.com. I'm listening to him. I'm hearing them, and we're going to use them for, for uh, varsity. <laughs> Somebody said, I'm against drugs, no cocaine for me. So just put the bot, my nigga. <laughs> I'm against drugs, no cocaine for me. People that troll on this thing are horrible, man. They're so mean. Anyway, let's go. It's the most important rhyme I ever wrote. Speaking from the heart and I ain't tripping on no clever quotes. Getting closer to my dreams like Guapale. Gotta say my problems stay chronic. No Dr. Dre. Okay, this is the best I've heard him sound so far. This is the best he's ever done and it's still trash. But this is the best I've heard him sound and it's still trash. Let's go. Don't say crabs. I got folks in Long Beach. DJ screw tape that I copped up at the swap meet. Uh. Get gurped off the scissor. Mob and peace jacker got hitters out in Pittsburgh. Never two face all you jokers, be some henchmen. I'm out in DC like Batman versus a penguin. 
Okay, now, now, come on. Now this is dead, man. This is like little brows kind of bars. Come on, brother, man. This is horrendous. In Compton, they some gang bangers. AD pull the strings, Carlos Lantana. My woman practice black magic, Santana. Santeria with the crystal like a fucking bad habit. Pull an odd job like I got the golden gun. He Just call disaster already to step in for you, man. This is horrible. Call disaster. Put out the bat signal and get the actual Batman involved and call disaster out so you can start disrespecting people and really turn it up a notch that's what i want to see i want to see disaster going going at it with ad with flipping all my suspect that's going to be fire that's going to be flames he's going to bring out the best in both of them and it could get heated to the point where there's some you know there's some flipping you know there's some things exchanged but i'm in it even if i'm smoking runs i won't lose focus once one step forward five steps back can't get past that vicious cycle where i'm led back to where I got loaded with my friends That trap house in the set Where my vices set traps Even though I got clean living filthy Forgot I'm stronger than everything that didn't kill me The world is colder than Alaskan winter Couldn't save myself alone Or with a crew of mass Avengers My little bro got <laughs> He's fucking shit He's fucking shit He's so fucking shit Caught up in a bad dilemma Cause the homie with him turned into a rat Like Master Splinter I got more issues than a newsstand At war with myself But I ain't even go to boot camp Bumping Mac Get it? At war with myself But I didn't go to boot camp Boot camp is what you do before you go to war And get deployed Get it? Boot camp war hey, Backwards in my ashtray I keeps it sucker free, word to Pat stay Hopping out the car, mind fried like the calamar My plug Salazar, got a talent how we balance raw Smoking out the jar off loud and bars Till I found the tar, wound up far away With the counselor named Balthazar That's probably the best stuff he does When he does those run on sentences, right? None of it makes sense But when he does those run on sentences They, they usually go pretty well But when he's actually rapping like quote you know whatever like four bar six bar eight bar loops it's like when it's a run on sentence thing it's good people are saying it sounds like chat gpt <laughs> cloudy dark memories of how i sparked an ounce of shard holding guns now my soul is numb like a callous scar blood stain yo how much meth did he do so many meth bars in it is meth tasty, by the way? Can someone tell me? Is meth that tasty? Glass of shards. Or is he talking about Ket? Because Ket comes in shards sometimes. But is that... I'm talking about meth. Is a shard. Oh, the counselor named Balthazar. Cloudy dark memories of how I sparked an ounce of shard. Hold Smoking meth. Sparking an ounce of shard. An ounce is what? 3.5 grams. Oh, ho, ho. okay. Uche saying I played the... <laughs> I played the fifth. I beg to differ. <laughs> shards. <laughs> The shards give you shards. Honestly, it's meth tasty. I wouldn't like it. <laughs> it feels good, man. To be fair, though, to be fair, what's the closest thing we had here that we used to do a lot? Oh, when we were kids, we used to do um, MCAT. Did you guys do that? MCAT. Meow, meow. Which I guess is methadrone, isn't it? It's probably the same thing, isn't it? And did 20, an ounce is 28 grams. He did 28 grams of meth. Yeah, we used to do meow, meow back in the day in school. It smelled like flipping cat piss. It was horrible. Uh, but it gave you a little buzz. You felt a little bit, you know what I mean? Crazy. Um, but yeah. Holding guns, now my soul is numb like a callous scar. Blood stains on the wall. Learn to bleach it better. Bleak December later, creeping in a treatment center. Mom's dementia stay forgetting how her seed got better. Now the grief I cuz the only thing that she remembered. Feel the pressure of my tangled web of lies. I weave it better. Now I chop the bricks like LaRusso. I don't need a blender. Uh, you, you can't be talking about bricks when you work for No Jumper. Sorry. You have a job. You're a content creator. You're an on host. You're a host thingy. I mean, like, no, no. Let's go back. Let's see why he got fired. Yeah, in that case, people saying trash, Jordan, trash. <laughs> that emoji, if you're rapping and someone just puts loads of trash emojis in the chat, you must cry, man. That's so dismissive. Just trash can. No words. <laughs> oh, anyway, let's see why Lush got fired. I'm going to say, my guess, something political. My guess, something political. But for for time anyway, Adam seemed like he's fed up with Lush. But let's see why he got fired. I'm guessing political. Let's see why why what, what happened. Why did Lush get fired? All, um, I welcome Adam all. 22! What's up? What's, What's up, man? Oh, he looks scared. As soon as Adam walked in, why is Lush face like that for? He, he feels like, you know, when like your dad walks in and you didn't, or when your mom walks in and you didn't take out the chicken. Yeah, 
<laughs> he's got that face. What's, why is he so scared straight away as soon as he walked in? Everyone's just happy to see Adam. He's not. Maybe the, this guy here probably knows something's up as well. What's happening here? This is odd. Can I get you real quick? Yeah, hell yeah. I'm the only black one, but... Uh, I, I got something to say. <laughs> what we on? What we on, Adam? What? Oh! He was going to fire him on air anyway. Adam's a piece of shit. Adam's a piece of shit. I thought this was an argument. And then it turned into him from fired. He came into the room knowing he was going to fire Lush. Nah. What did, what did Lush do? Lush. Lush, you What's lied that? to me. What? You lied to me, Lush. About what? What I just tried to talk to you about in the hall? Nah. Yeah. Oh. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Nah. Nah. Yeah. I didn't say nothing. Well, what happened? I got conf confirmation from a bunch of different people. Nah. What happened? What happened? Yeah. No. What happened? Uh oh! Look at the faces. My guy doesn't know what he walks into. He's he just trying to roll a blunt. Gina knows what I want. This guy's like, "Oh shit!" The black guy now feels much better about getting put out of his seat. What's happening here? What happened? Yeah. It looks funnier the more you lie. I don't. I really like when. I mean, how many people do I need to have fucking confirm it before it's like? What, what's happening? Can someone give me a background? Like crazy shit. Like, I, bro, I've talked to you about talking in the fucking Discord and, and saying crazy shit, but I never knew that you were this fucking loony with it, bro. What do you do? And can we turn the beat off? Is it, can they hear it? Oh, the guy left. The guy in the middle left. <laughs> the guy in the middle left. Well done, bro. That was very subtle, but well done. When the beat turned off, can I hear it? He saw his exit. Good boy, good boy. You're what? You're sorry. What yeah, happened? Like I don't like what did, I didn't say anything. What you happened? You said a lot of shit. What happened? Like direct quotes of shit that I said only to you because I fucking trusted you. What happened? Oh my god, Lush! What have you done, you old decrepit loser, adult dork self? What the hell have you done? These guys, I don't understand. These guys, they get given the opportunity, especially Lush. You get given a second chance to do something in this culture, right? To do something in this little hip hop community thing you got going on. He was involved in battle rap. He was involved in hip hop in some regard, but you know, stuff wasn't going well for him, admittedly, before he joined No Jumper. Say what you want about Adam, but he hires and he powers a lot of people. He's a piece of shit and he's basically the white Joe Budden, but he still hires and employs people and gives them a chance to boost themselves and a platform to speak their piece and go in and do great things look at what t Rose done ad has done all these guys from just being on a jumper right they've absolutely smashed it even the guys that reconnected formerly disconnected look what they've done from giving a platform but these guys still piss it up a wall i don't understand this maybe it's an la thing like that hint, that sense of like self-sabotage because it creates a bit of a story and a bit of a narrative as flipping um, Brennan would say because you get a chance to like come back and redeem yourself but I don't understand why these guys they get paid to just sit in front of a microphone a couple of grand a month right it doesn't matter if even it's a thousand pounds a month if you do a few shows it all adds up right you get paid to do that you're not in you're not working you're not working in Target or Walmart just mind your business comment on the news have some laughs don't take yourself too seriously and keep it moving. What is all this drama? Why do they always get involved in drama? I don't understand it. Just comment on the drama that other people do and then keep your nose clean. <laughs> Man, like, I'm, like, I didn't do like that. This weekend. Yes, did. And why, why, do you think multiple people who are in the Discord just made it up? I What's mean, happening I don't know, here? Like, like literally, I talked about it in the Discord, but I didn't say any quotes. Yeah, you did. Well, then how the fuck do people know? No what? No what? No what? No what? No, what? what happened? No what? I, mean, I, didn't... I understand you want to ask follow-up questions instead of addressing the fact no, that you're a it... fucking snake, but I, bro, I didn't say that. Like, what happened? What happened? What happened? Like, like seriously? It's pretty crazy that you're just lying more right now. I like, like literally, like I don't. If I would have said it, like, I, like, when did I say that? No, you like, did. You said a bunch of shit talking about how much people get paid and shit, bro. No, no, I didn't do that. Yeah. Some of these guys don't deserve in it what they get given. Talk about Brendan Shaw. You talk about the Brian Callens of this world. You talk about these guys. You know, sometimes like sometimes the the gifts. But no, I I, I take that back. I take that back. You don't get nothing you don't deserve. 
But sometimes if you get given a gift, like it just comes down from you from the gods, you should be aware that it's a gift despite you being an absolute cunt and you should be thankful for it. That's what should happen. Like if you're Brendan and you legitimately got a chance to make a career being a stand-up comic, even though you're fucking unfunny, but then you're, one of your best friends is Joe Rogan, and one of your best friends is Brian Callen, the perfect introduction to comedy, you should be like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Despite me being a cunt, I've got this opportunity. How amazing. I'm so thankful. Thank you. And just be honoring that gift. But for whatever reason, they take it for granted. They use it to flex on people. I don't understand that logic. I don't get it. Because if, if it was me and I was a cunt, I would know that I got lucky. Sometimes you get lucky as a cunt. Sometimes I, it's like, have you ever had that time? I don't know if you guys are, would admit this, but have you ever had a time where you've wasted money on stuff? <clears throat> have you ever had that time? Where you've wasted money on stuff? You should have bought stuff that you should have needed, maybe in the house or stuff, but you wasted it on shit. Maybe you bought some chocolates. Maybe you bought some games. You bought some trainers. And you should have bought other stuff. And then sometimes, even though you wasted money and you see your own fault and now you're broke, something happens where, I don't know, you walk in the street and you pick up 20 pounds or something. Or like suddenly you get some tax refund or whatever. Or you get paid for something that you forgot about. Something that ha Sometimes that happens. Even though you don't deserve the good luck, you get the good luck. And then you're like so thankful. You're like, oh my God, I'm never going to make this mistake again. And what you do with that money or what, whatever you've opportunity found, then you go and do the thing you meant to actually have done when you had the money prior, prior right? It's, it's happened to me before anyway. Probably I'm describing it weird, but it's happened to me a few times where luck has come my way, even though I didn't deserve the luck. And these guys have the most luckiest thing ever. They live in LA, number one which helps to kind of, you know, make the media connections because I'm sure a lot of people, these guys, even though they're not good, just because they're around, you know, they get given opportunity they probably shouldn't be given. And then... <sighs> That's complete cap. Like, seriously, like, we, we could go in the Discord and talk to those people directly. I would love that. I would, I I would love to be proven wrong because, <laughs> because the fact yeah. that I trusted you this much and that I've just I don't, had all this shit revealed I don't to even me, know what people get paid to it even would speak take, on that. Uh, okay, but I mean, why, why do I have random people in the Discord telling me, oh, so-and-so said this, and it's like mm -hmm. something that I guarantee somebody said to you or that you've heard around the office but that you never obviously should have fucking spoke on? Nah, we could go in there and, like, because I didn't say that shit. Like, seriously, mm -hmm. like... So is there no. anyone else like pretending to be in there to, to be you in there or something? I mean, you could look through the entire chat log in there. I didn't say anything like that in there, fool. Like, okay, well maybe we can do like a full analysis of it, but I think I get the gist from talking because to I everybody. Because I did because I did not say that, dude. I did not. Like, I'm saying, I, if I did, I would have told you when you asked me before. Like, no, you lied to me to my fucking face out there, right in my own office. No, dude, I didn't. You like, did. <laughs> if, if I did, I would have said something. Well, then there's a bunch of people in the Discord who are tragically misled, and some of them are people that I trust. I mean, I don't know. I mean, Mikey's in the Discord. Like, did I say... It feels I mean, kind of crazy that... By the way, talking about Discord, make sure you join my Discord. Link is in the description. We do not air anybody's personal business on there. We just post videos and memes and jokes and we pontificate and gossip about all this nonsense involving the drama community people and we laugh at them from afar because guess what? It's fun. It's fucking fun. So if you want to join us, please click the link in the Discord. No one's going to air your personal business out there because it's not that serious. We're just having a fucking laugh. We're not doing what these guys are doing. They're getting paid thousands just to kind of sit in front of the camera and have a good time. And they turn it into drama. I don't understand. It's horrible. Let's go. All these people would just like try to frame you, you know? It seems a little bit more likely that you're just talking to... I mean, there's been a lot of like... Sh I'm not trying to throw nobody under the bus, but I didn't say like what you said, that, that shit. I didn't say that. Okay. I didn't. Like, I would have told you if I did, like... I mean, it's just it's going to it's going to take you providing the entire discord chat and, and pointing out slime. OK, OK, OK. OK. So from what I understand, having browsed and read it just myself on the phone, it looks like Lush was in the discord talking to random fans for some reason about what Adam says about other people at No Jumper, which is typical Adam. So t so this is a funny interaction. Adam is pissed at Lush for telling other people who are not Adam, who are telling other people outside of No Jumper about what he thinks about other hosts on the show, specifically people at AD and stuff. He's gossiping about his own employees to other employees who are now telling strangers. <laughs> and now he's pressed and he's trying to press Lush on camera to basically save himself and make himself feel good without taking accountability for what he said about the employees. Honestly, Adam22 is the white Joe Budden. He's a piece of shit as a boss. Great businessman, 
great like um media mind and what's that thing called um what's that yeah media mind entrepreneur whatever it may be but as a boss as a manager of people as a leader absolutely horrible and i don't understand why both of those guys don't get people to manage a podcast joe Biden should get somebody to manage a podcast in terms of hr peoples and stuff and whatnot and same with Adam. There should be some distance between him and the staff because he's just te- he's just a terrible human being. Like, his soul's corrupted. Do you know what I mean? It just is what it is. But he's also their manager. So imagine your manager bad-mouthing you to other f- employees and then the employee goes and tells other people. Uh, imagine how sticky that was getting at work. And by line, things that you didn't say that I'm being told I mean, by multiple people you, that you did say. I can show you the entire chat. I didn't say that shit. I honestly think, at least for now, maybe we could come to the bottom of this at some point, but it's probably better that you just leave. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I did not expect this uh, to be a narrative that was taking place today, but we just, we got to hold ourselves to a higher standard. And uh, yeah, I don't know, dude. I'm just super disappointed. I didn't do that, bro. Like, okay. Like, you guys can uh, end the stream or whatever, but... <laughs> <laughs> it couldn't happen to a bigger cunt honestly i don't care man fuck lush man he was sucking up to adam all this whole time trying to act like he was his best friend and then behind his back he was telling everybody his business and what he was saying about people even though adam should have done that in the first place but whatever man it is what it is isn't it like r.i.p to lush um it couldn't happen to a bigger cunt what 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 a horrible arc what a horrible arc of a story, man. Jesus Christos, man. I just can't understand these guys, honestly. I just can't get any of these guys. Just enjoy the flipping fun times that you have and whatnot. But they always make it about the drama. It's always about the bloody drama.